I just wish my voice would sound better while recording. Okay, so let's get started. In the last video, we declared some variables. Then we added them together with declaring them here, declaring them here, and adding them here. And as you may know, that there, the addition isn't the only one. There is subtraction, multiplication, which is the asterisk, and division, which is the backslash. But there is one special one. This is called the, the modulus. What this does is that it divides the these these two numbers. And say for example it was uh, say for example number was eleven. Let's just do that. Eleven. And this was three. It would it would um divide it through. And instead of displaying 3, it would display the remainder, which is 2. So let's do that. Let's put modulus. And the character for modulus is a percent sign. So let's do number modulus decimal equals number number modulus decimal. But the thing about this is that you can't do any decimals with this. So that's why I can't put 3.0. I'll just leave it there. So let's save and compile and run. And what's happened? I can't do two. You can't do two types. So let's just change this to int. Save, compile again. And as you can see, it says 2, not 3. This is because 2 is the remainder. So that's it for that. And now we want to start off something new. So let's just get rid of this. Actually, let's just get rid of the whole thing. These. And let's make a new file. Save as. And today we're going to start a new, actually, let's just do this. So today we're going to be doing something new. We're going to be doing a loop, which is a, a, a block of code which does, that repeats it over and over again while, while this statement is true or false, depending on what the person wants. So today's loop is going to be called the for loop. You know, four. And what this does is that you get a variable here, you say the increment here, and then you say, no, you say the comparison here, and then you say the increment here with the ending parentheses. So let's fill in these x's. But the good thing about the for loop is that you can fill in, you can make a whole new variable within this loop. So let's do that. We'll put int, uh, let's just see, name it c equals 3. Since now we made our new variable, and now we, we want to compare it, so we'll say 4c equals 3, c is less than or equal to 7 and then we want to increment this C++ plus plus. ironic I purposely did that <laughs> so we're saying for this equal last time equal to 7 incremented by 1 that's what the plus plus means incremented by 1 this way it is code so we're going to put say count um, hello. Okay, so let's save this. Wait, no, wait. Wait, hold on. Undo. Okay, let's save this as for 
loop that's CPP yes do that and let's compile and run And as you can see, this has been displayed five times. And I say, why does it do that? Well, I'm going to tell you why. This is because we, we declared C as three. So we have that. Now we say C is less than or equal to seven, which means that it will go up until seven and also include seven. And then we, and then we say that we want to increase this by one every time. So, so while this happens, and while this happens, this is displayed. And for each time until this middle one is is met, this will be displayed. In result, we have five times we say hello because of four, five, six, four, three, four, five, six, and seven, which is five variables, five numbers. So we have the for loop down. But what if you want to do more than one line of code? Well, if you have one line of code, you could just indent at the next line and um, finish it there. But what if you want to make some more lines? What you do is you, you put the open bracket and then press enter. Yeah, you'll do that. So, so you say count that. Um, out good bye and, uh, and then you you close it with the end bracket so let's save it again compile and run and as you can see it says hello goodbye hello goodbye five times. So this is this is basically the for loop. It's really useful if you want to repeat stuff over and over again and stuff. So that's it for this tutorial. Look up for my next tutorial later. And if you like if you like this please subscribe, like, comment, do it do anything to help me out. Alright? Alright, see you next video.